<laughs> you shredders. What you doing, boys? <laughs> it's been a while since Kyle's been in here. What you doing, Kyle? Uh, well, since our metal situation is not up to Whack. standard, I'm um, <laughs> gonna attempt to build a rack today. So, explain to me what we got here. This is gonna be like the front, and then we'll have bars going. Uh, this is gonna be the front. So, that's the front. I wanna have bars. I'm gonna put one of the, like, the one inchers, one of the smaller ones, up front. Uh, it's gonna come up a foot and then bend, and then the next one's gonna come up two foot in bend, and then three foot. So it, it's got some style. Yeah. So, I don't know, that's kind of what I was thinking. And then you just you set the metal, you know, in between. Just stack them up. Stack them up, yeah. It's a little bit longer than what I wanted, but I don't know, I feel like we can almost put like all the metal in there. Yeah. Once it's set up. Sure. Because right now it's, it's taking up a lot of room. Yeah, it's annoying. And it's like wanting to fall over. Well, this too, like this is what the problem is. Is like even on the fat bench, you go to use that shear, all that weight pushes this, almost yeah. topple on top of you. Well, right now it's like if we wanted a piece of this aluminum, we'd have to move all that shit and like it's right. just... Like, and we can make... It. You don't really want aluminum sitting on steel and all that. It's just not good, so... My next step is I'm going to clean this all up, weld it. Tight. And then uh, I'll grab you, but I want to do the bending. Okay, well, model 54, we're ready to go, bud. I'll go back and watch some shark car videos. Yeah, no problem. What's going on, Kyle? What's up, buddy? Uh, just trying to get this thing hooked up. JD squared plasma table model 54. Sing. Rules. <laughs> yeah. My basic strategy here is we're going to do the first bend and then work off that. So, I'm gonna leave the piece extra long, but I've never really used this machine before, so we'll see what happens. So, basically, you wanna start it right here on this one. So it's like parallel with this is parallel <clears throat> with the table. So that is right there because that's where that is. We'll move this because this is the right spot. So when you hear that clicking noise when you're bending, it's that slapping. That, that thing slapping. Mm -hmm. So that's where we want that, right? Because this is going to hold that. This is where the bend's going to start. Oh, and that can kind of float? Yeah, it kind of floats because it has to adjust to different heights. So that? then this is going to go here. There should be a peg for that. What are you trying to bend? How All much? Right. I'm trying to do a 90. Um, How high? A foot and a half. A foot and a half high? So you want it to sit a foot and a half high? I want it to start at a foot and six inches. A foot and six? How high do you want the, t the thing to be? A foot and a half. So you can't start the bend at a foot and a half. So start, it won't work. Okay, so you start Because then you'll either make it too short or too tall, depending on which side you bend it. Okay. So, you want it at 12 and a half? Correct. So, well, I meant, you want the top of the bar to be at 12 and a half. So there's a foot, right? We we'll want it to be at 18 inches. Right, so you want it to sit like this, right? Yeah. I'll show you for reference where this is. This is kind of a good thing if you want to do something like that. It might be easier to set it on the ground just so we're more accurate, but you see you want the bend to start around 14 inches then. Okay. See that? Yeah. Because if you were to bend it at 18, look at how much higher it would Yeah. You know, that's like three or four inches pretty yeah. much. So you just gotta know where the bend radius is. That's why I always bend these and put a mark where the bend is so I can visually see it. Because sometimes it just puts your head to do all the math. So if you have 18 and you're sitting right there, you wanna be basically 14. So we'll just start at 14. Start at 14. Okay. And then from there, we'll judge the other side. So you use this as your line, right? 
So when you draw, when you draw your line, when you want your 14 inches, you start right here. But you got to make sure you're bending it from the right side too. Okay. Because. Because it's gonna bend. Because if you bend it 14 inches from that direction, it's gonna bend differently than this. Okay. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So this, if you're bending it 14 inches from here, it's fine because it's gonna pull that. Like this, you know what I mean? Yeah. This is where the bend starts. And it pulls it through like that. And that's where you want to be on your 90. So if you shoved this through here and measured from 14 inches there, it's going to bend it really short. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. Okay. Because like that, that'll... You'll, I'll just show you when you're done with this first one. For shipping and sitting there, they're all covered in oil so they don't rust. Yeah. So let's just wipe that shit off because you want to make a good work. And then also for welding too, you gotta keep that in mind. I'm gonna help you on the first one, then I'm gonna leave you alone. Okay. Because you'll figure it out. After we do the first one, you'll get it. I'll figure it out. I know you will. It's not, it's not as difficult as you think. Like, once you do it, you'll be like, oh, okay. Keep this adjusted to it too, to keep this tight. But not tight tight. Like, just, just, just up to it. Just tight? Yeah. Okay. So it keeps it in place. What you doing? Okay, so what? Keeping the table. Oh. Making metal storage. Oh, good idea. What are you Smiling. doing? Drinking water? Stay hydrated, people. Especially if you're a large man. <laughs> good luck, have fun. Cool. <laughs> Pretty on. I bent it a little bit faster because when you let off, it springs back just a hair. Okay. So it might need more aggressive bend. Like I can see it sitting up. Yep. Add a little bit more to it. So you have a visual reference of where you're going to be. So you put you put the middle of this one on 63. Right. right. So it's going to be a little bit more difficult to judge because that's going to go out about an inch. So let's just push it just over here. And then we can mark here as the beginning of our bed. Yeah, exactly. Okay. That's good. Um, what I also do too is like since this is sitting on pretty level ground, just take that marker and try to mark the very top of it. Yes. Mm -hmm. Just so you know where you, when you're bending, right, that that's straight up and down. Okay. So you because you want to keep that in line. Okay. However, we're gonna bend this the opposite direction, so we need to flip it over and do the same thing. Because right. if we were to bend it from here, it's gonna bend that the opposite direction. You know what I mean? Yeah. So we have to do it upside down. Just the top, like that. All right, so metal table update. Yeah, I want to say that. We got our one, uh, <laughs> we got one of our pieces in here just to show um, what is possible, so. I'm gonna build three more, but this is kind of the idea. I feel like you can you can put about three sheets in each one, but this is this is one of the thickest pieces we're gonna use. So um, the idea is you don't want to have a bunch of metal stacked on top of each other because when that happens, it's, somebody could get hurt. So just keep on, keep it on. I had to make it custom. Got some sleeve right here. Um, because I accidentally made it too short, but. Okay. So let's keep on going at it. Keep on tracking.
All right, so we just finished the metal rack. Pretty stoked on it. Um, wouldn't have been able to do it without the Model 54 JD squared. Thank you guys. Also the plasma table, super badass. So stay tuned. If you like us building stuff like this, uh, comment below. And also subscribe. Right here, right here, right here, right here. <laughs>